stops. As you'll see on your screen, Doorstop and Zane were already up 2-0 going into the set. Uh, he must have won the mental game. He must have yeah, gotten no, no, he won. Early. He lost the, the rock, paper, scissors, but he got into his brain. He may have lost won. the rock, paper, scissors, right. but he won the war. So here we are. We got the ZSS coming out of Doorstop. Of course, the snake coming from Zane. And uh, as you said, he was working on the, the Belmont, and here is the Belmont and the Dark Samus. So an interesting team. Uh, we'll see how this works out. Um, it's like almost they would both be stomp tanks. So we'll see who ends up uh, taking what role here. It seems it's a piece is, sorry, not piece, uh, uh, Astrea. Astrea. Astrea is going for, for uh, being the brute here, kind of going in, knocking them around. Astrea having no peace whatsoever in his gameplay right now. This man is everywhere. Comes roaring in. And there comes that Nikita out. And oh, just able to make it back. Doing a good job of avoiding the explosive missile coming flying at him off stage. Yeah, we saw the effectiveness of uh, Nikita in last match. So we'll see if Zane is able to show it off in the same way in this match. Throwing, oh. throwing out an axe, but he was ready. Zane able to just up tilt him into the sky. Yeah, of course, uh, that deep uh, up tilt is always going to be effective. Oh, he's going to be dangerous. Saw in that last match. We'll see it in this one as well. Sometimes you get a little too cute, and you're, you're just met with a foot to the face, you know? That's a that's a dangerous proposition, to be sure. Yeah, we're uh, uh, sitting in the back, trying to get set up here, having a little bit of trouble. And the, that Uppy not quite able to take out the CSS. Uh, a bit of a reversal rolls there. Ready for the moment. Here he comes. Nothing doing on it. Waiting for a moment here. Estrella able to combo into a fair there and shoots out a little missile there. It does connect. He comes flying in, but Zane able to get out of the way. Taking him up, though, and Zane has to recover. He has to make it back. Yeah, opting to recover low, which is probably not what uh, Estrella were expecting, so it does allow him to get out of danger. Doorstop able to come Ooh. in and save the day a bit, and there comes Zane explosively. Yeah. The C4 seemed to have been on uh, Estrella there, so it was able to take him out. Grenade comes out, tried to toss him into it, and Australia is able to make it back to ledge, but he's ready to get wailed on. Grenade flying out, hits his teammate, unfortunately, and actually C to ever Corey also hit his teammate there, so even evening out a bit there, and Australia is able to take care of that stock. Not what I saw coming there, but a fair will take care of that snake. Yeah, it's fair off stage. It is still a very powerful move. Uh, they made it better since I, I believe the uh, past incarnations. It does combo in so itself and all that. Cora was Good in move. a dangerous position, but whether you're at 180 or 100, taking something that big right to the occipital lobe is going to take care of your stock. Ooh, catching him uh, with the nair to bring him back down into the into the charge shot. I do like that play there. Waiting uh, in but shield, but uh, Zane's able to chip away there. Yeah, currently uh, they're able to force him back out, so now uh, Red's getting a bit of an advantage here. Ooh, not get, quite getting the spot, uh, sorry, spike hitbox of the down B. Wait now for a moment here. Core is knocked away, and now Estrella is in to save the day. Here come the axes. The B button is going strong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and uh, keeping him out. The mix of the holy water and the forward smash, it's uh, very difficult to get on sometimes. Doorstop tried to land on that platform, but Cora was there for him, came zooming in. Oh, and the upbeat coming out. Had the, the screen of Snake there, just walked up and threw it out there. Red team holding on to their one stock lead as Zane's able to survive, but and lives through that axe as well, but won't live through another. He's in a dangerous spot. Survives that down B and Doorstop comes in to save the day. Right, setting up on ledge there, not quite able to uh, bait that uh, snake into getting up into the F smash. Waiting out the moment there, Zane parries the returning uh, the returning uh, boomerang for good measure. Waiting out the moment here. Yeah, so Zane uh, really trying to hold on to the stock, not wanting to fall into that last one. Maybe holding on to it for Korra if he happens to lose his, uh, but losing his for own first. So right now, this is uh, looking pretty easy. Nikita even. comes Ooh, out, Nikita, point blank. not quite enough. Uh, Korra able to hold on to that stock, but it's so close. Oh, the up tilt? Yeah, the very into the up tilt. That was a very nice team play there. You may be able to survive a point blank shot to the face, but you can't survive a foot when you're buried in the ground, I guess. So Estrella here now probably looking to take out um, the ZSS uh, is at a very high percent. Very doable, but uh, this is going to be scary here as, you know, Zane is just going to be back there, throwing out the Nikita, throwing out the grenades, making it as difficult as possible for Estrella. Estrella doing a good job of beating up on Zane's shield a little bit, but Zane only at 35%. Estrella has a long road ahead of him. 
Definitely has to get rid Ooh. of the ZSS oh. as quick as he can, but Doorstop wisely staying out of the way. Almost gets spiked, but does uh, does manage to DI back on stage. Everybody got caught, got caught in the torrent there. Australia meeting that missile in midair. Stays out of the way, the ZSS Whoa. disabling. Just weaving between all, all of the projectiles, all of the down smashes, but does get hit with the forward air, and that will take it. In the end, the onslaught was just a little bit too much for Australia to overcome. Put yeah. up a solid long fight there. Solid, solid 45 seconds of survival there, more yeah. than some might be able to do. But in the end, it wasn't enough. What does the team of Australia and Cora have to do going into game two to avoid Australia being put in such a hard position? It's, uh, um, it's hard to say. I feel like... Uh, they, they need to get in on Zane more, you know, they can't let him get up and do what he wants to do. Uh, but it's, you know, he was able to hold on to those stocks for, for longer than anybody else, and that was uh, ultimately, you know, made it very difficult for Australia to get that comeback. But uh, it's, I, I would say it's hard to say for me personally. They beat up on Zane's shield a bit, but he was able to just retreat and let yeah. Doorstop flippy dip around and take care of business for the most part. Also, uh, they do have their counter pick here, so we'll see if uh, that affects the match as well. We'll see where they're wanting to go to bring uh, this, uh, what do you call it, bring the snake and the ZSS. Looking at story, perhaps. Uh, so Zane and Doorstop do a good job at just controlling the set. You know, because Zane can mm -hmm. hang back. He can throw out those projectiles. He can keep things moving consistently. And let Doorstop just flip around and find those moments. Just poke in and get some, get some damage off it. A solid 30% and then reset. Yeah. And if Estrella and... Uh, and Korra can't do the same thing, then they're going to be in trouble. Australia usually managing uh, to get some missiles out there and take care of business, but he needs uh, Korra to be able to go in there. The problem is they're both playing stock tank characters, so and uh, they're both playing B, B button like, heavy uh, characters. It was know? like the it's, Samus was kind of going in there. They were, hmm, they were kind of like alternating in a way, and yeah. it worked at times. Like there was sometimes where they would uh, hit with a projectile and then combo it into a drag down and get get them set up for another projectile. But uh, it just, I guess it just wasn't quite enough. Bringing out the Forest Green Richter against a Red Snake Christmas, the Civil War edition. Good stuff so far. Clustering over on the right-hand side of the stage, they tried to meet, and a successful parry Ooh. returns us to a solid 1v1. Estrella can't make it back. He yeah, got hit way low. An immediate spike for just an early stock. Uh, looking good for Yell Sorry, red team right now. Australia and Cora have to recover themselves a bit here. Getting the yeah. slam into the fair, solid combo, and both of Red Team were off on the left-hand side of the stage, but Zane forging a path. Oh, oh another spike another on Another spike, and Australia oh, again can't make it back. He needs to just stay away from that right-hand side of the stage. I would have some bad bad juju there if I was going over there. Staying yeah, out of that. Not a fun place to be for, for Australia specifically. A dangerous spot now as they have to change up their strategy quite a bit. Yeah, of course, he can't let that, though, shake him up. He has to, you know, still stay the course, play the strategy that he needs to be playing here. Australia runs into his teammate's axe, but they are able to take a stock from Red. Not, oh, not quite. Oh, yeah. Sorry, not yeah, quite doing it. did lose a stock. And there goes, there goes another stock from Cora. Red with a solid advantage here. Ooh, but Cora comes rivaling back. If Estrella can stay on the stage and just maintain himself, he's a solid player with good ability. They're going to want to get another spike on him quick if they can, but I doubt he'll let that happen. Yeah, but right now already at 95% on his last stock, uh, which is not, not where he wants to be. This is a real dangerous spot. Cora holding his own against Zane on the other side. Man just to tether back to the stage. Zane tried to do something to Estrella, but he was comfortable to wait and shield. At yeah, 130, he, he, the, he might want to shield a bit on. more. But uh, the C4 ended up blowing up his own teammate, so it didn't quite work out as he planned. Throws out that holy water, but Doorstop was ready. Zane knocked off stage. Doorstop was there to guard him, and here comes Zane, a house of fire. Yeah, a man of many explosions. Uh, going in there and just setting everything off. And yeah, once again, another C4. Australia's stock is gone. Stock Does share that stock, and now it's a real tough spot. Cora's at 95, and they need him to stay alive. Australia might not be able to handle this 2v1. Yeah, he might uh, just have to sit back and throw those uh, those B projectiles. And Cora, Ooh, Cora's B, going in. He's able to tether back. Ooh, Australia okay. able to take the stock, and we are back to even. Australia really holding his own after a rocky beginning. Yeah, but this is uh, still looking a bit scary. Cora is at a bad percent here. But Estrella is doing a good job keeping him away, letting uh, Cora stay comfortable there. Oh, the, he got the buried in the up. ground. And oh, up, up, and away. Yuppie. Cora is gone. And now Estrella faced with another 2v1. Yeah, and this, uh, 
this is you know neither of them are at high percent either this time so this is looking even worse than he than the situation from last Estrella definitely using his down B bombs to stay out of the way of danger get some attacks in there and reduce the amount of onslaught that's facing him at any given time if he can fight one at a time he might be able to do it if he gives him a chance to team combo with maybe some c4 assists he's going to be in danger yeah of course uh, red team just doing a good job of covering all of his options not really giving him much space to move around to get anywhere here use that grenade more like a like a ninja throwing star for a second waiting out a moment astrea not letting him get any chance there's the down b or the down air excuse me Wait, not a moment here. Able to make it back to stage. Hangs out on the ledge. Does not get hit by that disable. And now here comes the Nikita to finish yeah, out. And it Nikita does. Once again, finishing out two sets in a row. Homing missile. Straight up predatorial work there from Zane. Yeah, uh, finish the job. Mission complete. Solid work there. So a solid round of games here for Cost, but uh, I believe uh, before our next match, what seems like it will be Yeti and Tlorio, another powerhouse team. Yeah, we're going to have Yeti and TL Oreo versus Wood and Van coming up for it to kick off Tox Top 16. But first, we're going to take a quick 5 to 10 minute break. This has been Game Arena and Outer Haven presenting Cost in tandem with Arctic Fury Esports. I've had a great time, and I hope we'll see you back soon because after all, it won't be the same without you. Yep, stay tuned.